This short instructional video will demonstrate how to set up an HDD Link whole house audio system. This video assumes that you have already chosen a central location for your equipment and have already run speaker wire from that location to each speaker. It also assumes that you have run and terminated CAD5E or higher cable from that same central location to any location in your home in which you plan to install a Link Touch keypad controller. Let's get started. Make sure the Link controller and the multi-channel amplifier are powered off. Start by connecting the speakers to the multi-channel amplifier. This can be done with either bare wire or the use of banana plugs. For ease of installation, we will use a banana plug in this demonstration. Repeat this step for each of the speakers in your system. Connect the trigger cable that was included with your link controller from the trigger out on the link controller to the trigger in on the multi-channel amplifier. It is important that this step only be performed with both the link controller and the multi-channel amplifier powered off. Set the power mode switch on the amplifier to the trigger position. This will cause the amplifier to remain in sleep mode until it is actually needed. Next, we'll connect the zone outputs from the link controller into the multi-channel amplifier. Start by confirming that the three position input selection switch labeled 1, 2, line on the multi-channel amplifier is set to the line position for every channel. Connect one of the stereo RCA patch cables that are packaged with the link controller from the variable output on the link controller for zone 1 to the line input on the multi-channel amplifier that corresponds with the speakers being powered in that zone. Repeat this connection for every zone. In most cases, zone 1 will connect to channels 1 and 2 on the multi-channel amplifier, zone 2 to channels 3 and 4, and so on. If you are installing a 12-zone Link 12 system, you will typically connect zones 7 through 12 to a second multi-channel amplifier. Now let's connect a source into the Link controller. With Link, you can connect sources essentially at the Link controller as well as at input panels you install throughout your home. Start by connecting an audio source directly into the Link controller. In this example, we will use input 8, which is an RCA connection. This would correspond to source 14 if you're using a Link 12 controller. Most audio sources will include an analog output that can be connected directly using a stereo RCA patch cable as we show here. If your source only includes a digital output, you can use the source 7 input which accepts both a digital optical input or a 3.5mm stereo analog input. We offer several input panels that are used to connect a source located within a zone. These input panels are most often installed behind a TV, near a nightstand, or above a counter. The inexpensive standard input panel connects an existing link touch using five conductors of a CAF5E cable and works with all analog source signals. Our other input panels, analog input panel, digital input panel, and Bluetooth input panel can be connected either to the link touch or individually all the way back to the central location over a long CAF5E or better cable. The Link Touch is used to control a single zone along with a few system-wide functions such as party mode and all off. It is also required to take advantage of the built-in intercom. To connect to Link Touch, simply insert the terminated CAT5 cable into either of the RJ45 ports on the back of the Link Touch. The other port is available for daisy chaining a second Link Touch or connecting a source input panel. Once connected, simply slide the Link Touch into the included steel bracket. Friction and strong neodymium magnets keep it firmly mounted to the wall. Back at the central location, connect the terminated CAT5 cable to the appropriate zone on the link controller. Repeat for every zone. The system is now ready to be powered on by pressing the button on the front of the link controller. A blue LED confirms the system is on. Next, power on the multi-channel amplifier. The amp will be in sleep mode as indicated by the amber LED. If not already on, turn on the source connected to source 8. Check the front of the link controller to confirm that the green signal strength indicator light is on for source 8. Note that this light intensity will vary with the strength of the source input. Power on zone 1 using the link touch connected to zone 1. Note that this action causes the multi-channel amplifier to trigger out of sleep mode changing the LED from amber to blue. 
On the front of the Link controller, the blue LED for Zone 1 will turn on and will remain on until that zone is powered off. That's all there is to it. You are now able to independently select within each zone from all of the audio sources in your home. Of course, at some point you'll want to set up control of the system from all of your smartphones and tablets using our free HTD Link app. To learn how to do that and other advanced features of the Link system such as connecting your existing doorbell, creating subzones in a larger home, or using the built-in MP3 player, see our additional videos. Owner's manuals and additional detail can be found at HTD.com. Of course, our expert support reps are also available at 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday at 1-866-HTD-AUDIO. If you are in new construction or a remodel, take advantage of our free Upload Your Plan service where we help you establish your zones as well as determine the best location for speakers, keypads, and primary components. At HTD, we sell our own brand of home audio gear direct to consumers at considerable savings and provide free support to ensure your home audio project is a success. We look forward to hearing from you.